Once again, welcome. My name is Sam Santiago. And Rabbi Ron, what do we have today? Hey, Sam, it's good to see you. We've got, just coming up this week, a special holiday. And what holiday is that? Well, I believe it's Purim. Uh, that's right, the Book of Purim. And it's found in what book of the Bible? It's found in the Book of Esther. All right, in the Book of Esther. So all of you, you got a copy of your Bible. Read the Book of Esther, because this is what's happening this week. And in there, there's some problems recorded in the Book of Esther. And some people share with me that we could consider this an elephant in the room. Elephant in the room. Mm. Now, what does that mean in general, an elephant in the room? Well, most of the time, it means something that we want to avoid talking or dealing with. That's right. There's issues that we just, they're not comfortable. We don't want to talk about it for whatever reason. And there's some issues in the book of Esther that a lot of people today just don't want to deal with. We had there a man named Haman, and he made a plot to kill all the Jews. Now, if you keep going back in Haman's family, do you know who started that family line of Haman? Well, I believe they came from Persia. Yep, they came from Persia, and specifically the first one in his family line was Esau, oh. who's the brother of Jacob, Jacob yes. or Israel. Yeah. Jacob and Esau, two brothers, had some issues, and now in the book of Esther, it's about seven, eight hundred years later, they still haven't figured things out, these Amazing. two brothers. They Amazing. still can't talk and have <laughs> peace in one another. They still don't like each other. And there's still some issues. Haman wants to exterminate all of Jacob's ancestors, get rid of them all. He lived in what country? Well, it's what it's Iran today. That's right. Here it is. It's Persia. It's today. It's modern day Iraq. And modern day Iraq, what do they think about Haman? They well, they probably like Haman, don't they? They probably do. They have the same philosophy. They have the same. If Haman was to come back from the dead, they'd probably offer the guy a job. They have the same goal. Let's kill all these Jews and get rid of them. They never dealt with them. The issue's there. And Saturday, at, after service, a friend of ours from Suresh W. Rock started talking about that with a few of us. He said that, that when we leave issues unresolved, we avoid them. We don't want to talk about they don't get solved, resolved, but they continue to cause problems. And because of that, all throughout history, Haman's and Esau's family have been trying to kill all the Jews and constantly causing problems That's right. and stuff in this world. Now, in the book of Purim, in, well, not the book, the Feast of Purim, it's a celebration yes. because God did intervene. He stopped Haman, but it was only a temporary victory. Yes. He eliminated the persecution for the moment, but Iran is proof that it has continued. It is still going on over and over again. And so there is a lesson from the book of Esther that, hey, we can't ignore elephants in the room. That's correct. I, 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 that's hard for me, Sam. I'm, I'm a guy that <laughs> relationship and fun and happy and yes. easy. And But when you've got conflict, sometimes you got to bring up the ugly facts and say, listen, here are some things that happened, and, and it hurts. you got to bring up wounds That's correct. so that you can bring healing. And so it's uncomfortable for me to do this yes. often, but it's important because otherwise Esau, Haman, and Iran, it's proof of what happens when you don't resolve conflict and deal with it. And so, Sam, I've got some scriptures here, and it tells us what we need to do when we have some elephants in the room. Well, in Hebrews so chapter 12, verse 14 says that we should make every effort to live in peace with everybody. Yeah. Everyone. That's right. Every person, even your brother that you hate. That's right. And every effort. Try. Do something. Well, you know, that's a, that's a given. God is that's love. Right. Yes. And, you know, that's why we should fellowship. Yes. Iron sharpens iron. That's right. <laughs> now, sparks will fly when iron sharpens uh, iron. So that's why I run and hide from it. <laughs> but you'll never bring resolution, and you'll still be trying to kill each other every chance yeah. you get. So you're telling me when things are unresolved, it brings about bad consequences all yeah. the time, correct? Unfortunately so. Yes. And uh, Romans uh, chapter 14, 19, it says, Let us therefore make an effort to do what leads to, I oh. guess, peace. Yeah, make every effort of peace. I removed that word, but it's there. Make every effort to go after peace. That's right. And in Psalms 34, verse 14 says, Do good, seek, pe seek peace, and pursue it. Yeah, you got to pursue it. Get on your feet and do what it takes. And in Psalms 133, verse 1, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. 
brothers, Jacob and Esau even. Yes. They didn't like each other, and thousands of years later, still, here they are, hating one another, and it's just causing so many problems in the world ever since yes. then. And so we got to make some effort. we got to pursue it, go after it. It's not going to just fall in our lap, and everyone's going to say, I don't want this anymore, these problems. Let's just love one another. No, we got to work hard at this. And so I want to encourage you, during Purim, yes. this is one of the lessons don't ignore the elephant in a room. Deal with it. Bring yes. resolution. Bring peace. Because that is pleasant. It is a good thing. In closing, God chose not to ignore the elephant in the room with us, yes. Sam, with you, with me, and all of you listening. That's right. There's a thing called sin. That's right. We, we disobey God. We blow it. And, and, and we don't like to. We don't want to deal with that. It's painful to deal with sin. i got to change my ways. That's I don't want to deal with it, so I'd like to just ignore it and, and just try to keep on going. But God saw that that wouldn't do it because God's holy, and he can't be around us if That's there's correct. sin in our life. And God says, man, i got to deal with this elephant in the room because you won't do it. You won't do it. So I'm going to deal with this. And he sent Yeshua to deal with the biggest and deadliest elephant in the room, sin, which keeps us separated far away from God. He loves Sam. He loves me. He loves every one of you so much that he says, I'm going to bring up this elephant in the room called sin because I want to get it resolved so that we can be reconciled and we can be together. This is the greatest thing of all. And so let God deal with that big elephant in your life, the big sin in your life, yes. so you can be close and be in unity with God, because that is truly pleasant and good. See you again soon. Shalom. Shalom.